Hi, and welcome back to The Magic Miscast. The deck review today is part two for Covetous Urge. This deck is called Covetous Discard. It's a standard deck featuring Liliana, Waker of the Dead. We want to get the emblem out. We want to ultimate Liliana. So at the beginning of combat on our turn, we can put a card, a creature card, from our opponent's graveyard or our graveyard into play, and it has haste. We can do that at the beginning of each combat. We support this deck with Agonizing Remorse, Duress, Blood Chief's Thirst, Heartless Act, Soul Shatter, E to Extinction, Extinction Event, Murderous Rider, boy that's getting rid of a lot of cards, and the Massacre Worm, which is just an awesome card for hosing out those weenie decks. So the mainstay card is Covetous Urge again. We can steal a card from our opponent and it's in exile and we can cast it anytime we have an available mana of any color. Liliana, Waker of the Dead. This is an amazing Planeswalker card if we can just get it to work. Plus one it, each player discards a card. Each opponent who can't loses three life. We can minus three and target creature gets minus X, minus X until end of turn. Or if we ultimate, that's fantastic. Duress and Agonizing Remorse hit the opponent's hand. Kill off creatures with all of these great cards. Murderous Rider is really nice because even though you lose two life at first, it gains back life when you attack with it. Extinction Event, E to Extinction to look at your top card of your deck. And Massacre Worm, all creatures get minus two, minus two when it enters the battlefield. And whenever a creature an opponent control dies, that player loses two life. Sweet. All right, here's our first game. We got some card, or hand disruption here, duress, followed by agonizing remorse. Already the opponent is down two cards, two important start cards for them. They put out a creature and we just take it off the board. Put out another one, we take it off the board. Oh, Wildwood Scourge. We can let them pump it up and oh, there's Yorvo, that's uh, Murderous Rider, the Yorvo. We have another Agonizing Remorse. He's down to one card in hand. And now with the Blood Chief's Thirst, he's nothing. We can start getting some life back with our Murderous Rider. Stone Coil Serpent. Liliana. Very nice, Liliana. We have a blocker up for Liliana. We can use the minus ability on Liliana. We have lots of cards in our graveyard and get rid of the serpent. He picks up one card, another serpent. We're going to have to uh, make him discard. We're going to lose our Liliana, but we've got a second one. Look at that. And bye bye second serpent. I've really enjoyed playing this deck. The uh, disruption is amazing. Having covetous urge to steal creatures and then win the game with the opponent's creatures. It's just a lot of fun to play. I highly recommend it. Okay, agonizing remorse, what to choose. Okay, so... We know that the Uzis are going to come out, but we have uh, removal for them. Now the opponent is thinking, okay, he's got removal. Oh, we've got another agonizing remorse. We do have a massacre worm in hand. We can take care of anything that has a toughness up to two, which is what the opponent has on the battlefield right now. That's five mana. We'll just keep removing creatures. 
We could have left it in and taken three, but uh, that's okay. We want to get Liliana out as well. Out comes the worm. Opponent loses two life because one creature died. Oh, mm, that would have been nice to take out the cobra as well. Okay, he's getting some mana. He Blood Chief thirsts me. Oh, Murderous Rider. Unless I draw a swamp for my card draw, I'm almost certain to draw some kind of removal. Okay, in comes Murderous Rider versus Murderous Rider. And now they go back into our deck third from the top. So we're going to see a lot of Murderous Riders for a while. Can I get my Liliana to ultimate before he gets his Murderous Rider back? Okay, he's got a Love Struck Beast, but we got our Rider back. That means he's going to get his Rider back. Is it this turn or the next turn? Maybe the next turn. Okay. So we can tick Liliana up one more. Oh, Covetous Act. We can steal his ride. No, we can't. It's in his deck. Okay, what do we got? Uh, ooh. Foul Mar Meyer Knight. I think we have to take... The Henge would be a nice card to take. Cobra. Take the Blood Chief's Thirst so we can kill off another creature, I guess. Take up Liliana. She's at seven. We can do something with her next turn. But I think the rider is coming into play. Oh, no, a scavenging ooze. Okay, so we're going to be able to... Oh, no, he's going to... No, he can't attack. Okay, let's ultimate. Liliana, Waker of the Dead. That is fantastic. And whatever we pick, it gains haste. So we can attack with it right away. And we pick up a Soul Shatter. So we've got the emblem for Liliana. We're going to Soul Shatter. The Scavenging Ooze. He's going to remove some cards from our graveyard before the Ooze dies. And I guess that's not a bad idea, just in case. Uh, there's something nice in there that Liliana can bring back. So he used up all his mana doing that. We'll take his ooze with Liliana. We don't have any green mana sources, so we can't pump up the ooze. Oh, Blood Chief's Thirst. That's very nice, followed by a Heartless Act. We keep removing creatures. He has no cards in hand. Liliana brings in the Edgewall Innkeeper. He's down to three. We're killing him with two out of three of his creatures, and he dies. That is so much fun. Killing an opponent with their own creatures. Okay, wow, look at this hand. We've got one of everything. Got a duress, we can steal a card with the Covetous Urge. We have Heartless Act for removal. And Liliana. Okay, goodbye, Ember Cleave. Oh, duress on an Ember Cleave. Okay, he's hitting with Fervent Champions. We have to uh, remove some of those. Let's just see what he does next turn. Bone Crusher for two. Down to 13. We Heartless Act, a champion down to 11. We have three mana. We can do a Soul Shatter next turn, or on their turn. Okay, another Stomp to the face. Soul Shatter. Good, four lands. Ooh, let's see what we can take. Ooh, Anax. Weaselback, Red Cap. Uh, we can get rid of a red cap, so let's take. No, well, let's take the red cap. Annex, we can get rid of. Although he does put out a token. Bone Crusher 
gets eaten to extinction. Out comes this thing as a blocker. Oh, we can play Massacre Worm. Let's get him to block. Take one. Yep, he does it. So now our worm can kill him. Wow, that was a nice one. He's got another weasel back. Red cap. Time for Liliana. We got a nice blocker in front there. Tick her, tick her up. We're going to lose our worm. Hmm. Maybe we will. Should we tick her down? Keep our worm for next turn. Opponent loses two. Okay, and gives up. Wow, how long has it been since I've beaten a mono red deck? Okay, this deck has some promise. All right, what do we got? A couple of Heartless Axe, a Rider, and a Soul Shatter. So we got all removal, and now an Extinction Event. So this is going to allow us to hang in for a while. And hopefully once the opponent has run out of creatures, we can get in there with uh, a Liliana. Okay, the opponent is playing a, a couple of cycling creatures, which we are removing. Here comes the Flourishing Fox, which we're going to... Okay, cycle, cycle, cycle. Now it's our turn. We can take out the Fox, save our Extinction Event for tokens, possibly. That's three Valiant Rescuers in three... Three draws and a starting hand. Wow. Well, we got two murderous riders, so I guess the shuffler can be sticky at times. And comes another fox. That's two foxes in three draws, four draws. The rider takes out the fox again. Another valiant rescuer. Is that the fourth one? He is cycling a lot, so I guess it's possible to pick up all these cards. He's got an improbable alliance there. I think it's time to take take out something. Yeah. Let's look at the top card. No, we can't. We only have three, so we're gonna have to. Let's just put in uh, put in a rider, and then use the other rider to take out somebody. There's the Improbable Alliance. He's creating a, an army of soldiers and flying fairies, all 1-1. One, one. Soul Shatter. Take out the biggest converted mana cost creature. Two riders. Uh, we can block the soldiers, we can't block the flyer. He's going to cycle a couple of times. He's checking out all his cards. He's looking in his graveyard. Oh, he's putting out a stinger. To, he's going to try to ping us to death. Urge. Oh. Okay. Let's see if we can get anything. Ooh. He wants to flare us. But we're going to put take his uh, Luris and just use him as a blocker. Okay, he's getting close to a Zenith Flare range. He's got a lot of cycle cards in his graveyard. Oh, he wants to sacrifice his Stinger. Okay, that was odd. Yeah, he made a mistake. Oops. Okay. He still has three flying creatures. Yep, go for blood. We were expecting that. OK. 
Okay. We want to use E to extinction, I guess, so we can see what our library has on top. Heartless Act. Uh, I guess we keep it. Blood Chief's Thirst is a sorcery, so we'll use it now. In for two, gain four life. That takes us a little further away from the flare. Okay, he's building his army back up again. He just has the Zenith Flare in hand. Heartless Act, we can take out the his Stinger. Attack with two riders. We, we can take one the next turn. We went up to 27. Those lifelink on the rider is very nice. You can remove with it and then gain life back. It's very nice. Okay, two improbable alliances. Duress. Haha, <laughs> what a duress. All right. We played a few games in the standard event queue as well. This is one of them. Agonizing remorse. Okay, he's got some uh, creatures here that might take equipment on them. Mono red with equipment. A Cargan Intimidator. Don't let him equip it and don't let him turn us into a coward. Rimrock Knight. Okay, got some shocks in hand, we will ride out, and he, shock, he shocks us, no, yeah, he shocked us, raid bombardment, that's nice, let's duress him while we can, he shocks us, so now we have no card to pick, force him into using up those shocks, Annex, he has no cards in hand. We'll put out a rider just as a chumper. It's okay. Get to life. Ooh. Get a rider in response and take out Annex. Okay, he's got one card in hand. Nice. Combat Celebrant. We will Heartless Act it. We've only been we've been stuck on three mana, but we're uh, we're hanging in there. Ooh, agonizing remorse doesn't help us yet. We need to put up a blocker. We need some land. That's what we need. Well, that was too bad. But we try again. Waiting for an opponent. Okay. Here we go. So we were stuck on only three three mana in the last game, and I think that hurt us. So we have to, even though our opening hand was pretty good, we were stuck on three. Okay, this hand we started off after our draw with four land. Let's remorse him. Okay, looks like we're up against cycling again. Three mana. He has two flyers. Okay, we have two heartless acts, so let's 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 get rid of some of those flyers. Okay, two improbable alliances. He's made a four-three flying fairy. He still has a shock and another card in hand. Okay, we have four mana. Let's get rid of that. If he can cycle, he can put some more back on the board, but they can't attack yet. Okay, he doesn't have any cycle cards. Let's see what he's got. Covetous Urge. He's got shock, which he should play. And unsummon. What's in his graveyard? Yeah. We'll take the unsummon. At least that's 
kind of what our deck is doing, removing and putting back, bouncing and He's down to one card. This is the time when uh, Liliana can come out and be very effective. Okay, we still have a lot of removal. We'll use the rider because we can put him back in as a life gainer. Riddle form. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Scries with his riddle form. Very nice to put it out and then we can shatter it or eat it to extinction. Riders in for two. Gives us a little bit more life. That's important against the Zenith Flare. Okay, he's thinking. What is he going to do with one card? He's going to play a Spell Gorger Weird, which we will remove. Oh. Don't really want a remorse right now. Got no cards in hand. Ah, oh, Liliana is what we want. Take her up. We can get rid of a card. It's okay. Extinction event is okay. We still have unsummon. Hit for two with the murderous rider. Mirror maid. Okay. Soul shatter the riddle form or unsummon it. Unsummon. Can he play it again? No, not enough mana. Oh, and then Liliana can... Oh, he did have enough mana. Pardon me. Okay, Liliana can... Cause him to discard... Uh, no discard, so he loses three life. Murderous Rider in for two. Let's go to... Umara Mystic. We will use our castle... To draw a card. Uh, I should have played the extinction event first. Let's draw a card. Perfect. Perfecto. Well, in that game, we were just about to get the emblem off of Liliana. I guess the opponent realized it and packed it in. Okay, let's try another one. Three lands against a mysterious egg. He's going to start mutating. Mutate it all onto one creature, and then we'll just remove the creature. That should be a pretty easy game to win. Okay. The Hemophage. Bye-bye, Hemophage and Mysterious Egg. Uh, Soul Shatter, yes. One card for two. That's... A good trade-off. Okay, we have Agonizing Remorse. No point in using the Duress now. He has no non-creatures in his hand. Boot Nipper. A Boot Nipper. Let's cover this urge and take his Dreamtail Heron. <laughs> So evil. Okay. Opponent has one card in hand. Attacking for two with a nipper. Oh, unexpected fangs. That's interesting. That's murderous rider, that boot nipper. The little nipper is gone. Plays a land and scries. Let's put in his dream tail heron. That's nice, a 3-4 flyer. What else does it do? I don't know what else it does. I don't play this card. Let's just attack with it. He has one card in hand. We have two Massacre Worms, Heartless Act, and a Duress, and a Murderous Rider. Oh, and a second Murderous Rider for removal. Duress, let's see what he's got. 
No, he's got a chittering harvester. It's a mutate creature. Let's attack with the heron. Put in a rider. We have lots of removal. Another symbiote. The massacre worm is good. It will take us down minus two. Minus two, but it won't that won't kill our creatures. We were in for five, gain two life with the rider. He's got two cards in hand, but he didn't play any. We got more removal. In we go. Does he flash something in? No. So let's just put in our rider. It doesn't take out I mean our worm doesn't take out anything, but we have another massacre worm in hand. The hemophage. Soul shatter. We're in for 11. Okay, we didn't do too badly in the standard events we played in. We never got to seven wins, though. But still, it was a lot of fun. Okay, nice friendly opponent. We have four swamps available to us at the beginning of the game. Plus two agonizing remorse. Ooh. Heliode, serpent. We can he we can uh, remorse again the next turn, so we'll take out something big this turn. He doesn't have enough mana to, to play any of the big guys, and, and we can get rid of things like ooze and remorse again. Two Basri's lieutenant, but we can remove those with our removal suite of cards. Okay, we're building up our land base and we're keeping his creatures off the board. Uh, let's, we got lots of lands right now. Let's put that one in the bin. Good, because we drew another land. So we're gonna have six lands on the board next turn. Um, okay, that's all right. Well, we'll just get rid of it now. He's got another one in hand. But we're hoping for removal next turn, which we get. That's nice. He's still got the, uh, no he doesn't, we got rid of that. Okay, so he's got two cards in hand. We have no cards in hand. Six mana versus five mana. Oh, we get a rider. The odds of us getting removal on a draw are very high. Opponent appreciates the move. Thank you. Your rest, let's see what it is. Primal Might, oh my goodness me. Primal Might. Okay, uh, we could take the four. So we're going to, oh, well, we got a Thirst. So we can get rid of it, even though it's nicely pumped up. Get two life back. Massacre Worm, and we have six mana. Lovely. I'm going to save it. Oh, scrying. I can just save it while my uh, rider does his does his job. Oh, Covetous Urge. Let's play it because we're going to go into his graveyard. Pick up a serpent. Uh, play it for three. Play it for three. Sure, why not? Okay, we're attacking for five next turn. Ooh, very nice. We might as well put our worm in. We're going to attack for lethal next turn, unless he puts a creature down, and we can get rid of it. Okay, an ooze. Oh, look at that ooze. Great. We play our massacre worm on the ooze. And swing. Now his, wor his ooze is 3-3, three, three, so we can't... Remove it with the worm. I think we have to just attack into it. And then play our worm. Now we can play our worm. Bye bye ooze. Look at that, that is sweet. He loses two life on that. 
Next turn, we're swinging for nine. Okay, he's got a mentor, but we got another worm. Now we're swinging for nine. That is fun. For me, not the opponent. Two riders, an act, and an urge. I have the urge to act with my two riders. I have, I can, my, my play is now two acts. Maybe I should call this deck, You Shall Not Pass. I get hit by very few creatures for damage. Unless it's mono red. Mono red starts fast, hits me a bit, and then I can slowly catch up. Okay, it looks like it's another cycling deck. This deck has been 100% for me against cycling deck decks. Ooh, two flares. So I think we'll take one. We don't have any cycling cards, so it's really a useless card for us, but it takes something valuable away from the opponent. Okay. Get rid of Mr. Valiant. Okay. Just review his hand, make sure I know what I'm up against here. No point in him cycling yet. He's got nothing on the battlefield that helps him with cycling other than cycling and drawing cards. He's looking for an improbable alliance, I guess. Oh, Liliana. Oh, this, is this the right time? Or Covetous Urge again. Let's take out another flare. Oh, we gained a flare. We took out another flare. So he's, we've taken two of his flares. He's still got one in hand and one in the deck. That's the only card in this cycling deck I have to be wary of. So take away his flares and he might fold. Okay, he used one of them. He's up to 32, I'm down to seven. Okay, Liliana, let's start stripping his hand. He can't attack Liliana. I'd like to be able to discard those cards in exile. That would be sweet, but no such luck. Lurus of the Dream Den. Let's see what he's got. Go for blood. Okay. Wasn't a flare. Murderous Rider. Now we can use our Murderous Rider to start gaining us back some life. We can start ticking up Liliana. Of course, we do need a blocker for Liliana, but he doesn't seem to have anything that's hasty. Don't be hasty. Okay. Well, that's a lo amazing. It's a lot of fun when you can disrupt like that. Okay. Agonizing Remorse, E2 Extinction, Heart to Act, Blood Chief's Thirst, and Three a Land. Very nice. Just picked up those new, those new lands, old retro lands. They're pretty kind of cool looking. Reminds me of my early days in Magic. I got that new... That new... Com uh, not companion, that new uh, pet. The Black Lotus pet. And the Black Lotus sleeves. Pretty sweet. Okay, here comes Mono Red. Three draws in, and I'm down to 13. But I have removed creatures. And I know what it's in his hand. And he gives up! Wow, that was a pretty quick defeat. Packing it in. Okay, three land, duress, nice. Murderous Rider and Soul Shatter. But we had to mulligan to get it. So let's see how, see how well we do when we start with one less card. Well, Duress, oh, that's nice. So we've got Phylaf, Gilded Goose, and Wolf Willow Haven. Here comes the Goose. All right.
right. We have to wait another turn before we can do anything. Okay, Massacre Worm. We need some... Wow, we need some swamps. Okay, we're getting swamps. Shall we uh, ride in and take out the Ramper? The Caryatid? Three mana versus three mana. Oh, remorse. Oh, jeez. Oh. Eugene! Jengatha! Phylath! Well, Eugen isn't coming into the game too soon. He's only at four mana, five mana. Okay, well, he's getting there. He's ramping towards it. Hmm. Okay, we're ramping towards a worm. In comes the rider. Soul Shatter can take out the Planeswalker. Jengatha. Ooh, I think we have to take out Jengatha. And hope for more removal. We're up to six swamps. Masker Worm can get in there, but. Phylath creates tokens. Okay, we can take out all his tokens. Oh, that's so sweet. And all those tokens cause him to lose two life for each one. So he just went down ten life. He lost his goose and four tokens. Duress. Oh, duress, duress. Oh, he's got two. Yugen Plains Waka. But only five mana. Philidar retreat, no land. Okay, Ryder, gonna hit Phylath. Okay, Ryder comes in as a blocker. Let's go in and see what the opponent wishes to do. Nice, we're gonna win this game. I didn't quite calculate the blockers right, but okay. Puts up a cat beast token with his Felidar retreat. Oh, nice. Okay. Kicker. Kicker. Having that massacre worm on the table is great when you destroy their creatures because they lose two life every time they lose a creature like that. What a way to win the game. Okay, starting with uh, three mana and an assortment of removal with a worm and a covetous urge. Ooh, let's take out that ape. I hate that ape. That ape comes in and just, it really, that's really good disruption and value for the opponent. I don't like that ape. Maybe I should try to steal that ape. Oh yeah, that would be... Okay, what can I steal? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Return of the Wild Speaker. I can draw some cards with it, possibly. Or just removing it from the opponent. I'm not worried about creatures, because I have so much creature removal. So it's nice to duress and urge and take away valuable sorceries from the opponent. Beanstalk Giant, nice 8-8, eight, eight, but bye-bye. Okay, you want to urge. Let's urge. Well, he's got ram through. Take two of, two of those, so take one. Uh, it doesn't give us value, but it does hurt the opponent. So now we can play our Liliana. He discards. Okay, Elder Gargaroth. We just get rid of that. Liliana for the win. It's great to beat Mono Red. It's great to beat the Green Stompy. It's great to beat the Blue Red Cycling decks with Zenith Flare. I'm not sure how well we would do against Yorion. Yorion with uh, some hand disruption. 
and covetous urge to steal it. That might be kind of nice. Okay, we're ramping up here. Well, we're not ramping up, but we're building up our mana. Covetous urge. Let's see what we got. Well, he's got a lot of aur auras and sorceries. Enchantment aura. That's okay. He can put all those auras on a creature, and we'll just take out the creature. This looks pretty good for us. And he doesn't have any creatures to put him on. We'll take a scale the heights because we can maybe use that if we get out a rider. We got all this removal. He's got no creatures, so I guess we'll just keep ramping up. I don't want to use my Lockthwain Castle yet because uh, I got too many cards in hand. That would take, that would drain me for six life. So I think I will just wait on my hand, and the opponent is going to wait on his hand. He's got lots of land now, but he's got no creature in his hand. No. Hmm. Okay, another castle. I don't want to use it yet. Okay, he finally got a creature. Let's see what he's going to pile on to it. Just let him pile on. Keep putting some more on there. Come on. You still got four or three mana. Okay, there you go. Eight, eight. Bye bye. Okay, more removal. Five cards in hand, still don't want to use the castle yet. I'm still in, in great shape. He can put out some creatures if he has any. Oh, Liliana, we will use Liliana. Da, 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 da. We can get rid of a Heartless Act, we got two of them. Opponent will remove one of their auras. They draw a card. Still no creature for the opponent. We peck away at their hand. Uh, we can still remove Heartless Act. We've got two Blood Chiefs Thirst and an Extinction Event. No creature. No creature. We play our castle this time. We didn't lose, all, we lost four life, but that's okay. We lost another five life, but we're okay. We're in good shape here because we are about to ultimate our Liliana Planeswalker. Covetous urge for another scale the heights. We were hoping for a creature removal there. Okay. Well, there's not a lot of creatures in anybody's deck, so let's just keep ticking her up. There's a creature. Let's put two scales the heights on that rider. We get a little bit of value. Goodbye, opponent. The opponent just did not draw any creatures. He drew one creature. And we took it away from him. All right. Only two lands in hand. This could be risky. Let's take the risk and see what happens. We have a lot of removal at one mana, so that's okay. Oh, good, we got a third swamp. That makes me feel better. Okay, we'll just put in a rider for an attacker. He doesn't seem to be doing anything. Oh, he's doing what I'm doing. Okay. And so it begins. Okay, oh, wow. Ooh. If he comes out of exile, he certainly is unchained with 12 plus one plus one counters. And then he dies to a extinction event or a thirst or a heartless act, can take off his counters. Does he have an Ozolith in this deck? Okay, he's got lots of high-powered creatures with higher CMCs that he can't bring to play yet. Okay, so the Nessian Horn Beetle gets smushed and shattered. Let's steal something. Ooh, Elder Gargaroth. 
Only five mana to play an Elder Gargaroth, which he can kill. Wow, look at that. Okay, I don't play a lot of creatures, so I don't have to worry about Elspeth that much. But I'll get rid of it. The opponent gives it up. Ooh. All right. I stole a Gargaroth, but I never got to play it. Okay, uh, two castles, a swamp, a remorse rider, a vent, and a worm. Ooh, let's take away the Banishing Light, because we want to keep our things like worms and Lilianas on the battlefield. Good, we're up to four four mana producers. Ooh, take away that Felidar Retreat. Hand Disruption is going to maybe win the game again here. Okay, in for three with the Aspirant. That's a beautiful card, eh? Put a one plus, plus one, plus one counter on a creature every turn. But with removal, we can get rid of it. Okay, the fledgling is a, a pumper upper or two. Flies in for three. We're down to 11. The opponent probably thinks that they're in good shape. Because I'm down to almost half my life and they're still untouched. They can keep playing creatures, but we can keep removing the creatures. Up comes the ooze. Oh, fabled passage. Up comes the ooze again. No. Okay. Oh. Soul Shatter, Eek to Extinction. Extinction Event. Take my pick. I'm waiting to see if he pumps up the ooze. And he does. Okay. Another Fabled Passage. You got no landfall triggers. He's playing... The Beanstalk for a 6-6. Six, six. Eat to Extinction. So we can take a look at the top card of our library. Yeah, we'll keep it because we're trying to build towards a worm. We have five swamps, Soul Shatter. No problem. Spill the beans. Spill the beans, opponent. What do you got? Wildwood Scourge, we got six mana. We can use our Extinction Event. Very sad for the opponent. Another little fledgling. Ooh, Rider. I mean, uh, we can cast the removal on the Rider, then put the Rider into play. Cobra, where was that five turns ago? Vanishing Light takes out my Rider, but that's okay. That's what I wanted. Get rid of that Vanishing Light. Okay, Worm is in. He loses his Cobra, loses two life. Covetous Urge. Oh, sweet, sweet. Okay, let's look at the graveyard. Oh, sweet. Oh, sweet. We take a Vanishing Light because it's... It's good for us. Take a big heavy duty creature, swing with it, but the Banishing Light is nice because whatever he puts on the table, we can take off. And we're gaining life back with our Rider. Six to 11 now. I don't think the opponent's going to win. Good game. It's great for like the first four or five, six turns, the opponent is in good shape. They believe they're in good shape. Even though they are losing some creatures, my life total is dwindling. But then Liliana or a worm or a covetous act comes on board and wins me the game. Okay, we're starting with only two land again. Uh, we have, we're 2-0 and with doing that so far, so we'll see if we can go 3-0 and starting with only two land. 
Okay, he cracks a fabled passage while I kill his enforcer. Okay, murderous rider, just keep killing things, especially in these mill decks. I've been milled a little bit, but I've gotten rid of two creatures. Be nice to do, get the urge and get back those milling creatures and reverse the tables on him. Okay, another enforcer. There's the Liliana. Do I want to tick? Tick, tick, tock. Get her to five. She, he can take me back down to four. Unless he pumps up this uh, enforcer, of course. Rankle. Ooh, Rankle. Um, wow. That was sweet. Took out my Liliana with the Rankle. Nice top deck for the opponent. Okay. Well, it looks like we can... Uh, Take care of Rankle here. See, the opponent, even though they've lost creatures, they probably figure they're in okay shape. Oh, another Liliana. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I think we got to put, put up a blocker for Liliana. Or else we'll just lose her again. Artless Act. Okay, nice. So again, the opponent is probably feeling pretty good about their chances right now. But I feel pretty good about my chances too. I have half the life. In comes Extinction Event. A worm would have been nice there. Okay, oh, okay, Liliana can come in now. He's got nothing on the board to attack her with. Sweet. Oh. Drowned in the lock. Well, fair enough. That's two Lilianas down. Okay, I'm going to have to start thinking about worms. Okay. Another mill card. Ooh, mimic. Let's, let's get rid of it before he mimics it. That's nice. Mimicking a, a milling card. Wow. Okay. Glass pool mimic comes in as a zero zero and immediately dies. Okay, let's get some life back with the rider. We're back to 12. He's down to 18. The turning of the tide, my friend. The turning of the tide. This must be dawn on the fifth day. The turning of the tide. One card in hand, and I have two removal. Is it a creature? Is it a land? Is it nothing that you can use at the moment? Some kind of aura? Some kind of flash it in? Nope. Okay, we're almost even in life. Good job, murderous rider. He's a murderous life linker. Wow. Oh, agonizing remorse. Whatever it is. He's got to play it right now or lose it. He plays it now. Well done. He was waiting for me to play uh, something bigger, like a worm maybe. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, a wind robber. He's killing me with heartless, my creatures with heartless axe, so I will return the favor. In comes the worm. You got a heartless act for my worm. No, he's got a trickster, which we will remove and take a look at the top card of our library. Yeah, we'll keep the uh, blood chief's thirst for the next turn. Okay. Um, we're going to draw the Thirst, take care of the Wind Robber, attack for six, and we can even urge. What are we going to urge for? Are we can urge for that Rankle of prank, Faster of Pranks and swing for six. Oh, I'm getting a little bit cocky here. I'm saying that I'm going to win. I good gamed him. That's kind of ballsy, but let's see. 
make him sweat a little bit with that. Okay. All right. He's down to two life. I have a 6-5 and a Rankle coming in next turn. Oh, oh, very nice. But with the worm on the table, any creature he sacrificed drains him for two life. Okay. Three lands versus a fabled passage. We got a remorse, a rider, an eat to extinction, and a worm. Okay, opponent is disconnected. They are timing out. Okay, no, here we go. What will we do with the agonizing remorse? We can get rid of mentors pretty easily. We can get rid of the serpent pretty easily. We want to use our covetous urge in a couple of turns. The opponent is really taking their time on their turn. Okay. The rider takes out the conclave mentor before he can have anything attached to him. Conclave Mentor number two. Uh, there's the Ozolith. So if he gets some counters out, he can put them on his Ozolith. We won't let him do that. Okay, scrying with the Temple of Plenty. Hmm. We're going to urge. He's got no creatures to hurt us with next turn. Will we pack it up because of the urge? No, no. Oh. Okay, we'll take a henge. The henge is playable at seven mana right now. We put our massacre worm on the table, and the henge will be playable for two, one or two. Two, two, I guess, because it's uh, got two green mana in its casting cost. We can't reduce it any lower than that. Okay, let's swing with the rider. Going to flash anything in? No, he can't. He's got two lands in his hand. Okay. Okay, opponent is stalling. Hello, opponent. Opponent is not happy with the situation. He wants us to quit. We ain't gonna quit. Okay, we got our two to the opponent and we life linked two to us. Our hellhound is happy. Gonna bark at the opponent. Okay. No problem if he makes a token, we got lots of removal. Swing for two, get two on the life link. Counters go back on his wildborn preserver. Ah, but they go back to the Ozolin again. No problem. Uh, no, we're not going to use a remorse now. He's got no hand. And whatever he play, puts in his hand, he probably will play. You going to put the counters on me? Sure. Put the counters on me. No, you're not that silly, are you? You're gonna put the counters on me? No. Okay. Mm hmm. Still not getting a swamp, so we can't get out our massacre worm, but that's okay. We can hang in there. We got a couple of heartless axe. Yeah, put the counters on it first. No, don't put the counters on it first. Let's get rid of it before you put the counters on it. Heartless act can't work if you have counters on your creature. Well, we could have removed the counters. If we remove the counters, they would go into the void, right? They wouldn't go back onto the Ozolith, would they? Okay, well, we're just swinging away with our rider and gaining two life each time. No, no, no. You already learned that lesson. What do you got? Four counters? One counter? 
No, four counters. Okay, worm. We can play the worm. Next turn, we swing for eight. If he puts out a, a creature and we destroy it, he loses another two. That would be down to two life for him. Oh, that's what he did. Okay. Um, we'll put out the henge now. We get two green. That's nice. Duress. Oh, another Ozolith. That didn't really hurt him. Heartless Act. We can remove the counters only. Let's swing. And... Oh! He didn't block. Heartless Act. Get rid of the counters. Okay. He's got no counters on it. You want to swing for three and then I come back at eight with eight? I don't think so. Good game. Okay, so when you uh, block with a creature and the creature dies and I have Massacre Worm on the table, you're going to lose another two life. So he thought he was still alive at two life, but uh, he got drained for another two and didn't make it. Two lands. Well, we are 3-0 and with two lands in our starting hand. So I'm not too upset about playing it. Okay, we've drawn our first card, no swamp. So that makes me a little nervous. Okay, let's start our plan. Removing creatures and reducing his deck to nothing. Okay, two Blood Chief's Thirst, very handy there. He's down to three cards, so now we have a Duress, that's nice, and a Remorse. Oh, he's just got... Uh, Auras and this instant. Okay, two auras in his hand is oh, banishing light. Very nice, very nice. Okay, we're only at two lands, but we've been able to do uh, creature removal and hand disruption. Ginger brute for a one. Now he can start putting his auras on it. Oh no, he can't. Oh, oh no, you can't. Covetous Urge. Ooh. Well, I guess we'll take a, one of the Banishing Lights because we don't want to put a Liliana out there and get her banished. Well, opponent, you better draw a creature. Oh, okay. We have a Planeswalker, but I have a Soul Shatter and a Murderous Rider. He takes it up. No problem. We remove it. What's he going to put the plus one, plus one on? Well, he just wants to tick up his... Basri cat. So maybe it's out of range of uh, attackers, but we have a lot of removal. We have creature removal and we have planeswalker removal. Okay, I love I love the murderous rider. It swings for two and life links for two. It's that's it's it's uh, it's a better card than I ever thought it would be, especially in a deck like this where it can actually. Uh, Remove and swing. It's just amazing. It's a four of. That's for sure. Okay. Uh, we just keep swinging with the rider. Excellent. That's how we win the game. Okay. Heartless act. Mm -hmm. All right. Keep swinging with the rider. We got lots of available mana. We might as well uh, use our lock thwain. 
We lose a bit of life on the card draw, but that's okay. We got a we got a worm. We put the worm in. We still have two soul shatters and the opponent's banishing light. Of course, the opponent had the second banishing light. I forgot. Well, that's okay. No, he used it up. I'll use banishing light on banishing light. How about that? Banishing light on banishing light. Gee. <laughs> Okay, Soul Shatter for the Ginger Brute. And because he he uh, he lost a, a creature, he went down two. But he got back two. Covetous Urge. Let's see what he's got. All that glitters. And a Sentinel's Eyes. Well, let's go to his graveyard. Let's take his Planeswalker. Put it into play. Tick it up. Or we can make a Soldier. Hmm, let's make a soldier attacked. Uh, tapped and attacking. No, yeah, there he is. Two? Oh, we, made, we made two? How do we make two? I guess we made two. Fantastic. Well, thanks for watching the Magic Miscast. Please like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe to our channel, Mystery Secret Searchers.